Okay, the tent is complete. Ground sheet, fly sheet, every sheet. So that's the poles. I'll just show you the size of this. Uh, how small it gets when you wrap it up. That's a tent. That's my hand. It's a tent. Everything comes in just under uh, one and a half kilos, which is even better than I was trying to achieve. Try to achieve one and a half kilos. But my scales are the the best scales. Are no digital scales, so it could be be a higher number, it could be a lower number. Uh, so I couldn't vouch for the, the the accuracy of the scales. Anyway that's the size of the tent. That's the inner tent and the outer tent and pegs. So I'll just put the inner tent up and we'll have a look at that. Okay this is the inner tent complete. I'll just have a quick look round it. Now I was adding up how much, it's not really sitting very flat, but it's no flat ground so uh, I was adding up how much this inner tent cost me to make and the, the mesh was left over from the tap tent I made so I reckon there's about four pounds worth of mesh in it and there's about say three three pounds worth of green material so that's about, that's about seven quid the ground sheet never cost me anything because that was off an old cheap tent and what I don't really I don't really like as much as the white zip that I had to use because that was only the zip that uh, I had that would fit it uh, but that cost me nothing either so it come in about 7 quid to make this inner tent there's a wee tie there to tie it up but I'll just throw it up there now. so this ground sheet stuff although it's cheap it is probably more waterproof than really expensive tents. I'm not saying it's more waterproof than every tent, but that's what you take with you. This stuff, when your tent is like a very expensive tent that you're scared that the grass might poke through the ground sheet, you take that with you as a footprint. You stop it poking through. So it sort of defeats the purpose. So you're buying a really lightweight tent and then taking something else with you so we'll just have a wee look in here I'm not taking my shoes off I'll keep my shoes on so it's it's big enough for me to spin round and there's nothing else holding this up at the moment apart from the two pegs oh, I can actually sit up now so it's, it's high on a bivvy tent but it's still compact and bijou so that's my feet there plenty of headroom almost stretched my hand out <laughs> uh, so that is the inside of the tent and now the, the other tent I had, see if you leaned on wet ground with a bit of pressure, the wet would come through the ground sheet. So it's going to keep me drier than the old tent. It's more waterproof, it's lighter. And it's more fun because I made it myself so what I'll do is I'll I'll put the fly sheet on and we'll see the the whole tent 
the fly sheet will actually pull that forward a bit, make it more sturdy. So that's the inner tent. Okay, that's the whole tent up. The inner tent, there's plenty of space between the inner tent and the outer tent. And I've not put any guy lines in. No, you don't need them. No one a deal with this. So the total for the whole tent. Now what I say was but then a tent cost me about seven pounds to make. The outer tent cost me for that piece of material that was about we'll call it nine pounds worth because I paid 17 pound for 10 meters and that took about six meters uh, five and a half meters maybe so let's call it nine pound for the outer tent and seven pound for the inner tent which is 16 pounds i'm still to buy some silicon and some white spirit which will come to about seven pounds so, for under 25 quid anyway, I've made a whole new tent and it's lighter, the ground sheet's more waterproof, the fly sheet will be more waterproof and it's just a nice wee summer tent. I don't know about using it, because there's a lot of mesh in it, I don't know about using it in the colder eh, months, but for late spring to early autumn it'd be a great great wee tent and once it's siliconed it should blend right in with this environment the good thing about that colour is it, it works in the autumn as well it's a good wee stealthy colour a nice wee compact tent so that's a homemade tent